Okay, so in this video, we are going to take a look at the board itself, the Hummingbird Duo board. Um, and so this is uh, really to show you how to hook everything up and to explain what these different, these different colored blocks are all about. Um, before we get started, though, I want to mention that on the, this is the, the top side of the Hummingbird. And on the body, bottom side of the, the Hummingbird Duo is actually another board. It's, it's called an Arduino. And that board gives this Hummingbird a lot more functionality uh, in terms of what you're able to program and be able to make it do. But uh, we won't be focusing on that side of things for this project, so uh, I just wanted you to be aware that it is there. However, um, going back to the front side, um, let's start off with a couple of things. So on the right-hand side uh, here, you're going to see it says USB, and there's a white arrow pointing into the board. Um, underneath on the back side of that uh, arrow is a plug-in for the USB cable, and that's used to connect the board to the computer for, uh, for programming. And actually, with the Hummingbird, uh, it's necessary to keep it connected to the computer in order to um, make the code work. Okay, um, you'll also notice that right underneath the USB and arrow, there's a, a little green light, and that light should light up when the uh, the board is successfully connected to the computer. Uh, along the top row, you're going to see uh, six blocks. The first two blocks there that are green um, have four ports each in them. And the next four blocks have two ports each in them. So the first blocks that have the four ports in them, you'll notice right underneath the block, it says RGB and minus, and then the number one. So that's all for that first block there, and that just stands for red, green, blue, and negative or ground cable, which is generally black. So the tricolor LED plugs in each of its cables into those corresponding um, ports. The next set of blocks, green blocks at the top, are for regular LEDs, which are single color. And they come in uh, red, orange, green, and yellow. And so you plug them into each of these four different blocks. Again, you'll notice there's a plus and a minus and the number one. So that's one LED, a plus and a minus two, plus and a minus three, plus and a minus four. And so you can hook up to four individual solid single color lights uh, on, these, on these ports here. Next to the left, you'll see what looks like a, a little barrel. It's called a barrel jack, actually. And this is for plugging in power to the board. Um, this is uh, for uh, powering up the motors that you'll connect uh, in, the, in the blocks that follow. When power is connected, you will see the red light up above that little barrel uh, turn on. Okay, the next blocks are these orange ones here. There are two of them, and they each have two ports each, a plus and a minus. And these are for the DC motors. And DC motors are the ones that turn, for example, wheels on a car, um, or anything that needs continuous motion. And the plus and the minus actually um, represent uh, the two different cables coming from the motors, but they're the same color, actually. And so all that means is that as you plug in the motor, if you plug one wire into plus and the other into minus, the motor will turn in one direction. If you swap those cables, the motor will turn in the other direction. The next section here is sort of unique. They don't look like the blocks, the colored blocks in the rest of the board. These pins that come out are for connecting the servo motors. Uh, servo motors um, rotate 180 degrees, so they don't, they don't rotate in circles. They just move uh, sort of like, uh, imagine an arm, raising up an arm and bringing it down, something like that, or waving a flag. And so these are represented by four different ports. You can hook up to four different servo motors at a time. And if you'll notice uh, right above port number four, the, there's some writing that says B, R, and Y. And that just stands for black, red, and yellow. And those are the colors of the wires coming from the servo motors. Along the bottom here, we have four blocks in blue. Those are for our sensors. And each sensor has three wires coming out of it. Uh, the signal wire is yellow. The positive is red and the negative is black, and they connect into each of these ports accordingly. And finally, the last two 
blocks, the yellow ones, are for the vibration motors. And similar to the DC motors, they, their wires are actually the same color, so if you plug one into positive and the other into negative, the motors will turn one way. You switch the wires and the motors will turn the other way.